Hello, 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 wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, the Gemini um, energy and Sagittarius, but more so the air signs because we need to get an understanding of mental health concerning Gemini, Libra, and um, Aquarius energy. Now, the Gemini North Node um, is in position right now, and that is moon energy. Moon energy means that you may be going back to redo some things from your past. If your past has been taken care of, then that moon is not going to give you any kind of um, situations. Um, by situations, I mean that if in the last um, 10 to 18 to 30 years, you've not completed something and that North Node has affected you, you could be sent back to a place and time that looks similar to the last 10 to 18 or 30 years to redo. Um, the air sign itself has to do with, um, on the negative, the master liar, the thief, um, the manipulator. Um, I have taught my class and let them know that it's much like um, Esau and Jacob. So we can know right there that it's a trickster. The energy of the Gemini is a trickster. It loves to play games. It is, um, it's happy pretty much um, most of the time because it has a way of persuading people. So um, you could look at some of the people such as Donald Trump, um, who else is a Gemini? Um, anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. And I think that he's a great business person. So it's not saying that he's just a, a master manipulator. It is that he has been able to influence people with his conversation because of the communication aspect of the Gemini. Um, one of the things with mental health with Geminis are that they are very headstrong. And when that headstrong is not able to be um, conquered, it can actually talk its way out of things that it could have had. It can um, kind of like with, you know, if you had a sun sign or energy in Leo or Aries, it can burn up things. So um, this energy, Gemini, with a fire sign does not have a navigation on um, being still and conquering their own mindset to just say whatever it wants to say. Um, bringing it back in the behavior health field, what I found through my study is that Gemini or air signs, um, they'll follow the falsehood of who they are, you know, such as in the tale of um, Jacob and Esau, but they'll have to come to find their self in the midst of those untruths, the false self, because Jacob did, you know, as well. And when I say false self, you know, he and his mother put a situation together so that he could um, take the inheritance um, from the oldest brother. And if, if you know the story, what you'll find is, is that he had to go back and deal with those issues where he was put in a position to look at himself and how he actually acquired the inheritance. You can read it yourself, it's in Genesis, the stories. So when we have Gemini energy, we may be at a place where it's so influential that we have to watch our mouths. We have to watch what we think because that energy is also hyperactive at times. It's very energetic. When you look at a, a Libra being an air sign, they have some of the same similarities and what it, one of the, the things that they wanna do is bring balance. But when you look at the Libra energy and the Gemini energy, they both want balance because the Gemini um, energy has pillar. It's, it has a pillar. Even in the tarot card, there's a pillar there. It's twins. One was about the world and one was not, you know? And so with the two being there, there is a need to bring them into balance. But the balance has to come 
in the mind because these are air signs and we put Aquarius in there as well because it's water pouring out. So the water could be pouring out positive or it could be negative. Now the balance is, is getting the water to mm, weigh in a place where there's evenness and there's not rough, you know, rough seas. So, and then taking the um, fixedness off of the Aquarian energy. So when you mix a Gemini with an Aries or Leo, fire signs, even Sagittarius, what you're going to get is more trickster energy because in the beginning of who you are, you not begin to master your thoughts. And that's where everything begins. The, the origination of man and woman starts with our thinking ability, you know, from childhood. And so what we're doing is taking on other people's thoughts. But get this, if your mind is moving at the speed of lightning, such as the messenger, um, Hermes, Mercury, and you don't know because you hadn't been taught anything about behavior health, and no one has come up with that thought process to see that um, the, 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 the Gemini energy, the mindset is affected until it is disciplined. And, you know, I've worked with a lot of people and because they have been able to live their life in a certain way and think in a certain way, they're very, very strong will concerning making these changes. Now, you don't have to make the changes, but I would tell you that it's advantageous, advantageous for you to think about it because when behavior health is a part of you delivering something, if it's a message or delivering a product and you're only thinking in, or your thinking is not cognitively aligned with your speech, you can miss some parts that could be favorable for you. You could also add some parts that are not favorable for you because you're just talking. Because Gemini energy is a trickster. It persuades people whether it's wrong or right. And that's the part where our thinking has to come into alignment and say, am I thinking in a balanced way? Am I lying to myself and lying to people because it's a trickster energy? It will trick even the person that is aligned with that energy, such as the Gemini North Node affecting everyone right now. Um, mass communication is not telling the truth about everything. People are watching everything externally, but they're not watching internally. This is also a concept that Gemini brings into balance because the son that lost the inheritance was the son about the world, but the one that actually tricked his brother out of the inheritance would become someone of, of spiritual, um, of a spiritual influence, as we can know, because he grew into that and saw the error of the, of his ways in um, Genesis. Um, Jacob was wrestling with the angel because he wanted his blessing. He had to go through a lot of tests, trials, and tribulation, and it's not written why, but you can see the information through the mystery. So at the end of the day, you could take a class with us on the Gemini energy, because I'm going to schedule that around the second week of December. You could go to www.wealthyliving.org uh, and look at our calendar. We're um, doing executive classes and everything. And you, you can get in on the class. The class will be $35. But the, the one thing that I want you to understand is, is ADHD is a part of um, the air energy. Yes, ADHD um, is a part of the air energy. And so if you don't understand yourself or if you think that others should operate like you, this is a misconcept. We all have to get to a place where we can operate together. Now, when there's an air sign mixed with fire, it's going to be more, more chaotic and, and turbulent. And I don't want to offend anyone because this is um, a truth. Now, mental health and behavioral health is something that I've studied. And I call myself a behaviorist, you know, um, specialist, a behavior specialist. I have a master's degree in human services and I'm working on 
my doctrine. I don't talk about this a whole lot. And the reason why I actually went on and went into this field is because of family members, but also myself, because I suffered from depression. Um, where am I with Gemini energy and how can I see it in myself? The North Node. Um, my mind can go before me doing things and my body is not lined up with it. I can be thinking at the speed of lightning, but my body cannot produce it because one of the things that we hadn't been taught is that our thoughts have to be congruent with our body. That means that there is a union. And when you look at the tarot card for the Gemini energy, you'll see that there's a need to bring balance, okay? So that one pillar with Gemini and the other pillar on the, the card is going to call you into balance and that even can bring in the harmony of the lovers well you got to love yourself first and that means that if you're loving yourself first you're going to come into union with yourself and those pillars are not going to be separated they're going to come together and then when you look at the libra energy it has weight and balance sometimes we're like this Sometimes we're like this. That means that we have to get the balance there. So with Gemini North Node being a part of me, but it's a part of everyone because the world experiences everything. The Gemini energy is at a high peak right now. There's been a lot of misunderstandings in relationships and workplaces. And a lot of people are just saying, well, you know, he or she is just, you know, they're a hot mess. I don't want to deal with them. And one of the things that I look at is how we can deal with each other, because a lot of times it's the energy that's affecting us. And because we have not studied um, astrology or energy, we do not understand what's happening to us. A lot of times we just think, well, that's just the way that I am. And I told them in our leadership class today, you can tell me everything about what you are. But one of the things that I know is that we change daily. Paul said, I die daily. And because I die daily, there's going to be a accumulation of death that comes upon me where information is not going to be conducive to who I am today um, from what I was a year ago. What does that mean? I die daily. It catches up with me. And I realize maybe that I am my future se self. The success that I have been trying to get to is here, but my body hasn't caught up with it. My thoughts are here, but my body hasn't caught up with it. Why? Because I have not seen myself in the future or who I am right now. Gemini is about thinking. So Gemini energy was already ahead of time for us, even in the evolution of the world, even in the impacts of what we're going through right now. The Gemini energy is the messenger. It's carrying the word to people. It's like Gabriel, the angel. And it's, it's carrying the word, the prophetic word sometimes because everyone, hey, they're not talking um, truth, right? So you get that balance and the messenger begins to take you into a place where you will see that you've been thinking the right things. You may not have slowed down enough because of the fastness, the speed, the lightning of the thoughts um, uh, being understood and you may miss information for yourself and for others. You may not have gotten all the information that you have, even from the universe out for yourself and for others because you hadn't understood yourself. So I want to make this very clear. A lot of people with Gemini energy have ADHD. So is Aquarius. So is um, Libra because of the imbalance of the mind. The, these, these air signs are air. They're thinkers that, you know, they receive through the air. Now, the other thing with them is that they have to become grounded. If they're not grounded, then what happens is, is that they can come up with information, but they can't close on information. That means that they can't bring the information into perspective to make it a reality or a manifestation. It gets harder for them. And that's some people. We do have people that say, like, if you're a Capricorn, you're an earth sign, and what your ability is, is to be a grounding uh, energy. That means that the trees, 
you know, you understand the trees, you understand nature. Some people that are air people, they don't, they don't want to be in nature. And the reason why is because they're about socializing and meeting people. They have that air, they're attractors. Now, if you're not a Gemini sun, that's fine. I'm talking to people everywhere. Everyone has the energy because we are created from the universe. God is omnipotent, omnipresence, everything. So you get in on that class and I will um, set the date in the description box and you tell someone about it because we have this energy for the next two years. And what that means is the possibilities of communication could be off until you learn that your way is not everyone's way. When we come together and we think congruently, when we make exceptions for people, when we get over our personal feelings, because that's what this energy does. It brings us into perspective that I'm right and you're wrong. Why can't we just agree to disagree? You know what I'm saying? The pride is what gets us into places where uh, we can't be in the presence of other people or we just don't wanna be bothered with them. And where's the love in that? So reminding you all that fire and um, air, what it does is expand, right? Even if there's a fire, you know, with a house, the air expands it. Why? Because that's what air does. Think about that in your conversations. Think about Sagittarius being expansive, but not in a good place because Sagittarius it's optimistic, whether it's good or bad. It's like, hey, yeah, I'm good with that. And that's not even good either. So I want to keep it right here. And Sagittarius, it, you know, it's mutable. It has fire. So it will say, it's okay. We're going to do that. But, you know, I want you guys to really pay attention to whether you're living in falsehood, you're denying yourself of any blessings or success. Um, if you're so stubborn that you're not taking anyone's information into accountability, if you're so comfortable with who you are right now and you don't want to grow because we're in a season of heightened growth. And if we do not become aware of our behaviors, they can set us back. Now I'm talking to you and I'm talking to me. A lot of people do not look at astrology and the behaviors, but I do because that's, you know, it's my field. No, not many people have looked at this, but I'm looking at it and I'm telling you, even Aries, anybody that's out there that has Aries in their chart, they probably have been in a place where they could have been diagnosed ADHD. They may have had some psychotic episodes. And the reason why is because no one has taught that energy to discipline or master itself. And so it's just going and going. You can't just go and go, you gotta stop. All right, so get in on the class. Thanks for listening and um, check out For Your Inner Voice with um, Kamoi Knight. Uh, Nyla Speaks on Instagram. She's doing um, holistic wellness. Um, absolute 215 with Ashley. These are their handles. Uh, Galaxy Goddess, Galaxy Two Goddess, um, Jasmine Tony, uh, Chai Identity on um, Instagram. Um, I also have friends with the African Chamber in uh, Nevada. I just want to give a shout out to people that I know in their businesses. Paparazzi Diamond Star uh, on Instagram. And if you wanna become a part of our leadership program, we do classes, there is a membership fee and you get perks with that, let me know. God bless you guys, have a wonderful day.